My name is Beverly Gibson, and I live on the east side of Covington. Well, I've been smoking a long, long time. I started when I was a teenager. I remember when I first started smoking, I got dizzy and I fell off the top bunk of a bed because it made me dizzy. I have a grandson I'm trying to quit for. Well, mainly I'm trying to quit because of my health. But another main reason I know I was the happiest day of my life was when I was told I was going to be a grandmother. And just the idea of me not being around to see him grow up, it's not healthy, that secondhand smoke is not healthy for him. I don't want to harm him because of my selfishness, because, you know, I think I got to have it. And he's in the room and his eyes burning, or he'll say, that stinks. And I stop going out as much, too, because when you go out, you have a beer or you have a drink and everybody around smoking cigarettes. And I can't stand once in a bar, it gets real smoky. I have to walk out because it starts burning my eyes real bad. Even when I went to the class at St. Elizabeth, there was a lady there, I guess she was about 70, had no family. She already had cancer. She said she had smoked since she was eight years old because she's from a rural county and that's what they did. She's lost every member of her family to cancer. You know, and I even work in the school system and I see middle schoolers, they're smoking. You know, 11, 12 years old. But I think it's in the house. And they see their parents doing it. And they say, well, I'm going to do it too if they're going to do it. There's got to be something about this smoking. And once they start, they can't quit. You know, I want to go and see what this doctor has to say to me. I go see this doctor April the 1st. <laughs> you probably, you ain't got no choice. I'm trying to help you. This is the last straw. You gotta do it. You know what? It's gonna destroy you. So, okay.